What's the best way to set up dehumidifiers? What about air movers? Agile Equipment has got you covered. In this video, we'll show you how to set up your dehumidifier and air movers in the most efficient way to promote drying. As a side note, whilst dehumidifiers mitigate the chance of mold growing by removing moisture, we do not directly remove mold. We recommend physically cleaning the mold and using HEPA air scrubbers. Firstly, it's important that you fix what's causing the excess moisture, such as a burst flexi hose under the sink. When the source is fixed, we recommend extracting the water as much as possible with a wet dry vacuum or a portable extractor such as the extract. Once you've done this, you can set up the drying equipment. You might wonder how many dehumidifiers you need. We have a guide on our website that helps you calculate how many you need. However, here is a ballpark suggestion. Here we suggest 45 litre dehumidifier for a small bedroom or an office, a 70 litre for medium sized rooms, and 90 litre dehumidifier for large open living spaces. Since dehumidifiers work in enclosed spaces, you might need one for each room you're intending to dry. For air movers, it's important to get as many as you need to deliver dry air to wet areas. Once you've figured that out and got your equipment, set up the dehumidifier somewhere in the middle of the room. Make sure to plug it in and run the outlet hose to a sink or drain. For air movers, if you are drying a whole room, it's important to set up air movers in a continuous circular cycle that runs the outline of the walls. This promotes efficient air movement conducive for drying conditions. By doing this, dry air can be applied to wet areas multiple times, maximizing evaporation for the dehumidifier to remove. It's also important not to over dry a room. This particularly refers to dehumidifiers as the stronger units can warp doors, making them hard to close. This pertains to small bedrooms in general. Setting the dehumidifier's humidistat to 40% can help prevent this issue. You should know that in Australia, there are usually two 20 amp circuits in the house, and that generally, one GPO can take about 10 amps. If each dehumidifier roughly takes about four amps, and flat or axial air movers take about one amp each, ensure that each outlet and circuit you are using is not overloaded, as this may trip the power to the whole circuit. In general, you may be looking for at least one dehumidifier with two to three air movers per household room. This is only a very basic generalization, as room sizes and shapes, as well as elevated wet zones like upper walls and ceilings have their own considerations. The main idea is to get airflow over all wet surfaces to increase evaporation. Setting up an efficient drying space will ensure you save both time and money. And equipment shown or mentioned is available for higher purchase, like the Vita 70 litre dehumidifier, the IAQ Pro Zephyr Axial Fan, our wet dry vacuum, or the AS650 air scrubber. If you have time, check them out on our website. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us using the chat function on our site or give us a call. Otherwise, you can pop into our showroom to have a chat.